It's very exciting for Watershed and for myself. We hope that the product that we're going to develop through this award is going to help many and many people. To be winners in the Reed and Severe Environmental Challenge. It's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic honor. We are absolutely thrilled. So it's great to be one of the prize winners here for the Reed Elsevier Environmental Challenge. Um, we're one of the selected few around the world that have, can receive this uh, faith of the development of our concept um, by winning third prize in this competition. Uh, Reed Elsevier is using its convening power and its uh, knowledge to help uh, provide improved uh, access to water and sanitation and it's so necessary because water is the most precious resource. Every part of Reed Elsevier businesses are already involved in trying to help professionals, scientists and policy makers solve this challenge that we have of water and sanitation for the greater society and uh, this is just a natural place in which we can reward those with innovative ideas to put it into action. We started a challenge three years ago in 2011 to contribute to the UN's Water for Life decade. Our increased outreach programs and connections with the water and safe sanitation communities over the past two years have allowed us to maintain a very high level of interest in this challenge. Some 2.6 billion people currently lack adequate toilets. We are designing our low-cost shelter for rural Southeast Asia. But we believe the technology and more importantly, the approach of treating people as consumers has great scope for replication and reducing poverty. <laughs> Over 60 million people in rural South Asia, especially Bangladesh and West Bengal, India are exposed to high levels of naturally occurring arsenic in the groundwater used for drinking. People have no idea whether they are drinking contaminated water or not because you can't see arsenic, you can't smell it and you can't taste it. ECAR is replicable and we think it can be cost effectively implemented in other countries too um, from the technology point of view as well as the business model. We, we tested ECAR using the groundwater from Bangladesh, Cambodia successfully in remove, uh, removing the arsenic to less than World Health Organization limits that is less than 10 parts per billion. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we thought about uh, how best can we be able to give communities access to clean water so that there are certain preventable diseases that they can get. We came up with uh, a, a very cheap, inexpensive Android-based uh, smart, uh, smartphone application whereby people can map the water points in their communities. With this, uh, smartphone, uh, with this smartphone or online platform, they're able to get information on, um, on, the, on, on how to maintain the water points, but also they're able to feedback on information of the broken water points so that they can come and be repaired. And uh, it's just about 22 minutes to the top of the hour. Remember to join the Water Monitor SMS campaign by sending the word water to 8282 as many times as you can because uh, you need to be part of this campaign. Uh, the SMS is free, so you can send as many SMS as you can.